Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Maneater. This is episode 5, and this time we're going in hot because we're going straight into the Barracuda. Nightmare, the Barracuda. So I did a practice run against this thing, and it's definitely a doable fight. Where are you at? Because he's not really that tough, you just have to dodge a lot. That's a regular Barracuda. <laughs> With creatures that are foreign and familiar. See, that's the one you really have to dodge, is when he does the forward dash. Now, one thing that's hard to do is get away from him to heal because of how far that dash goes. And it tracks to you really well. Sort of parried him there. Alright, he's actually half dead already. So, I think we got this. And we should get a new mutation out of this. There we go. Bully him in the corner. And they call you an apex predator. Barracuda! While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio stable, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, Bone Evolution true. adds damage resistance and is most effective for boat combat. So yeah, it seems like most of the mutations come in a full set that you can equip to your various parts. And some of them are harder to unlock than others. And I believe you do actually get a set for collecting all of the landmarks. Possibly also all of the license plates. Alright, so now that we got that one dealt with... Pretty sure... We can't open this grate over here. I think it's another, yeah, required adult. So I believe we are kind of trapped in these three top areas until we hit our next size update. Plus 5% thrash damage and plus 12% boat bite damage. So yeah, I guess when we're fighting boats, we're going to want to switch to that if we want to do our next infamy boss. Because I originally thought the infamy bosses were area-specific, but I think it is just each time you beat one, the next time you piss off the humans, a another boss will come. Alright, so where do we want to go? I was thinking we go back to... F I was thinking we go back here to Fawtick Bayou, which for some reason I keep looking at and seeing Fatwick, <laughs> and fill out some of these missions, collect some of this stuff, since we kind of left it there. Also, is that just, yeah, that's just the general mission, which is not actually in a specific location to collect all the landmarks. We didn't really look up here at all, this top area. So let's fast travel. Also, I made two posts on the Tripwire forum for this game for bug reports. One of them of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. One of them was for the photo mode making the HUD disappear. Or rather, sorry. One of them was for photo mode causing the shark to fold up in on itself. The other one I made was for there not being a cursor on the menu at any time. And, surprise, which one did they reply to? They, of course, replied to the photo mode one, and completely ignored the other one. Where's that telling me to go? I don't even think that's in this area. <laughs> Alright. Nope. Uh, again, can't really tell where my cursor is. Alright, there's also a license plate up here. Oh. 
We might be big enough to get this one now since we were a babby shark when we were here last. Nope. Well, actually, if I try to bite it, I might be able to get it. Nope. Jumping in this is really just not going to work until we get a second jump. Alright. Um... Now, there's a mission over there, but there's also some caches over here. I have no idea what level we have to be to get to adult size. Probably level 10, if I had to guess. Alright, should be straight ahead. Let's follow the sonar sound. Is that alligator still following me? Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. Okay, let's check out what's up in this top area. It looks like there's some docks up here. You know, I mentioned that there's a lot of life in the water in this game. However, it does seem like each area only has, like, four species in it. You know, like a regular ecosystem. You got turtles, you got groupers, catfish, and muscalunge, and that's it. And alligators, but those are obviously not a fish. So what's this over here? Keep out! Some kind of swamp fortress. I bet we'll have to go in there at some point, though. Because there is water in there. Okay, this one we can get. Because it's on land. Okay. Keep going this way. Something else marked over there. That looks like a sewer grate. Maybe that'll lead us into that compound. Very orange in there, and very blue down here. Alright, well, this is a very cool cave with these super fluorescent the best growths. Tool to follow when encountering a strange fish is to identify it first, then kill it. I mean, these barracuda would have been a strange hard to deal with if we'd come here earlier. Up in the stomachs of sharks. Is that all that's down here, though? <laughs> kind of seems like it's just a big fancy cave full of groupers. But what causes all this bioluminescence? Nope, that's just a corner. How did we actually get in here? That's why you shouldn't follow me around, Barracuda. Seriously, where is the exit? <laughs> I can't tell how I got in here. I thought it was a hole in the top. There we go. Yeah, that was a weird area to have just one chest in it. Site closed due to alligator outbreak. Yeah, I don't think they normally call them alligator outbreaks. Oh, it's like a theme park. Alligator theme park. This is where we did alligator shows. In spite of their reputations as wrestlers, Alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. Surprised there's never been a wrestling move based on a gator death roll. Or maybe there has, and I just don't know about it. All right. You know... For an infestation, there seems to be quite a uh, dearth of alligators here. I see one. 
Also got another landmark or license plate up here. Oh, the friggin' backflip. Oh, okay, we've got the bug where I can't open photo mode at all. Apparently that's just an Unreal Engine bug and not specific to this game. Alright. So, let's check around the edges, make sure there's nothing else of use in here. Is that a bird that we just watched fly into the water and disappear? <laughs> There's something else over here. Just another landmark. Wild wetland airboats.bt. Someone should have taken a gun safety class. I see, he shotgunned the pilot with his casual disdain for safety. Alright, uh, I guess we can cruise along the top here. I think we also didn't go this way. We got a chest, we got a landmark. Might as well get all this stuff. I mean, I could do this stuff off screen, the collecting stuff. Since I don't think you're really missing out on those little descriptions. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. A local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodan of the Bayou. But Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodan was. There sure seems to be a lot of sunken sculptures in this game. All right, and now we got a corner up here to check out. So we want to go this way. While adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value. You know, just swimming around, pinging our shark sonar. Gate down there, and there's another question mark over there. I don't even really need to go for all of these necessarily, it's just swimming around and marking them will have them show up on the map later. Port Clovis, public notice. This industrial area is private property. Wildlife in this area contain toxins and radiation. Contact will cause harmful effects that will kill you. If they don't kill you themselves. Alright, so that's another adult zone. I'm gonna guess there's some hostile wildlife in there. Extra hostile, even. Hey, look, it's a muscalage that we need to kill. Easy enough. That one's also adult. So we're definitely gonna have to revisit these areas once we get a size up. Is that a sea snake? Or just, you know, a snake swimming? Ow. It would be nice if the smaller predators, once you got to a certain size, wouldn't bother attacking you. Because, you know, that would make sense. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone-disrupting chemicals and palm oil. I don't really know how to target these specifically. Okay, let's... There we go. If you can get close enough, you can lunge at it, but you still have to get fairly close. Got another grate there that's on land. 
I do kind of love being able to just flop over these little bits of land. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Yeah, that one we've definitely heard before. There can only be so many lines before they have to start repeating, right? Because there's so many collectibles in this game. Yeah, there's a question mark, like, right around here. And it's not the great. Oh, I guess I can mark it, figure out where this one is. Or not. I don't actually see. Okay. It's all the way down there, which means it's probably through that grate I can't open. So we won't bother with that one. I mean, at least it seems fairly quick the to get all these. This shark is nearly insatiable. Once you've actually got, you know, the ability you need to access the area, these are all pretty easy to get. Picture being like a fisherman standing in those bushes, and suddenly a fucking bull shark comes rolling across the ground past you. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable seaman. Also, imagine being that guy who doesn't fucking get out of his boat right next to shore, like an honorable seaman. All right. What was this mission in the middle? Let me just find my cursor. It's another alligator. Yeah, so we want to kill these alligators. The scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Which is straight down. Oh, hold on. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. This should be fairly quick now, even though it's level 15. I mean, I guess it's a higher level than the Barracuda we just fought. Come on. See, this is one thing that I think is going to be a problem through the entire game. Is that all of their AI does that thing where they just kind of slowly follow you. And then don't attack right away. Alright. Alligator is still pretty strong. So we are going to need to hit and run. If only we could, like, throw fish at him to do damage. See, like, where they just sit there and they stare at you. That's their AI. Alright. Alright, he's almost done. So we definitely couldn't have done this as a baby shark, I think. It's just... Too much damage. I mean, we could have nibbled them down, but it would have been really tedious. Alright, we've now turned him into a slug. And now we've turned him dead. <laughs> I don't understand why you always immediately flip. Or at least when you breach normally. You know what I could probably... <laughs> no, 
no, never mind. This is not gonna work because there's nothing to target. I was gonna say I could just walk down the walkway. All right. I guess we'll quickly kill this other alligator and then we'll head back into the new zones. Though I wonder what it takes to get the apex predator to show up, because there's presumably one for every area. So there has to be one for this area. Probably the named alligator. Whose name I forget now. I'm not even gonna try to get that. I know I can't reach it. Alright. So this is just gonna be another identical level 15 alligator, right? Yep. Nothing exciting at all about this. Alright, we can thrash a regular alligator out of existence. want to fight? I think it's actually trying to get back to its mission zone. Alright. This collection of predators that won't leave me alone. I could use the health. I really don't think the tail whip does anything right now. Not until we get, like, an ability for it. Yeah, I think this alligator leashed back to its mission zone, which is why it just disappeared. You know, I don't think an alligator could propel itself with just a tail very well. I feel like the limbs are kind of important for the whole sinuous motion they use. Alright, so it looks like that's all of our missions in this area for now. There's still a few caches and whatnot, but it's not like we're going to collect them all in one episode. Okay, we don't have any missions here either. However, we could try to get the other boss to trigger. I guess we could do that in the new area too. But that means getting attacked by more <laughs> hostile predators. Whatever, we'll do that. It looks like the next infamy boss will give us more health, which we could definitely use. Cause yeah, you see she gives us hardy, which you would assume is just a health increase. So let's see if we can kill some people and do was built just in time for the slow decline of golf as a popular sport. See if we can uh piss off some people. Alright. Let's switch to the teeth. And we have plenty of crystal or whatever to upgrade it, so. Upgrade our bones. And now we should be able to smash up boats pretty good. Nice little detail too, I can't really show it without the photo mode working, but you can kind of see it. When you open your mouth like this, the uh, the third eyelid kind of thing comes out. The nictating membrane to protect their eyes. But I believe Jaws Unleashed also did that, so I guess it's not that new. <laughs> Alright, it shouldn't be hard to find people here on this golf course, though it is night. So that might make it a little more difficult, I don't know how many people go golfing at night. I 
I just want to get up on land. This is the part that's going to be a pain in the ass, I think, forever. Well, I guess if we have a double jump, it won't. Because we can get that extra bit of height. Oh, there's a little... I guess that's part of the golf course. I was like, how do we actually get there? Human. Wow. That was the saddest jump I've ever done. We just need enough of them to get the hunters to show up. And then once they do, we can just use them to increase our threat. Though there doesn't seem to be a lot of humans around, again. Just have to carefully look for them. There we go, there's a little party. kind of survive on land for a while, as long as they have people to eat, because it just restores my health. Sophisticated wildlife management has never been a priority in Port Clovis, and so, amateur hour begins. Unfortunately, you can't dodge when you're swallowing. We just keep killing them until their boss shows up. I have to remember to actually hold down left click to keep them in my mouth when I'm dodging. Bobby Bojangles is on the case. Oh my God. The bartender life in Bobby Bojangles. That's horrible. Oh shit, is that that shark there? We're gonna get her. And I assume each one of these hunters that we fight is gonna have a bigger vehicle. Until we're fighting like a Coast Guard cutter again. <laughs> Remember that boss fight in Jaws Unleashed? Throwing caution to the wind, the big fish escalates its battle against Port Clovis. How did we kill her? Did I smash the boat so hard that she fell off and died? That was the saddest boss fight ever. <laughs> Which, you know, I'll take it. I'll take an easy one over a really frustrating one in this game. I imagine if we keep going, we could actually get the next one to show up too, but... True hunters hold a deep hatred of wildlife in their hearts. We'll space them out a bit. And the shark in the Golden Shores area. It's weird how the Mako... Let's roll out. The Mako is less persistent than... the alligators were. Okay, we do have a mission here. It looks like a main mission. Check in on Pete. So maybe that's just from our infamy going up? That's how we actually make story progress? You can't catch this barrel rolling shark. Okay, I think that's actually, yeah, that's in another zone, so let's. Uh, we can't fast travel though because we're in combat. Well, how good I am 
for spawn stuff. I never thought I'd have to use my eyes out here. Thought we'd just chuck some dynamite in the water. Come on, shark. Actually, how does dynamite fishing work with the fuse shark. not going out? With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. Because, like, it's such a stereotypical thing, you just light dynamite and toss it in the water, but... I suppose it depends on the fuse material. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. I believe they are usually coated in gunpowder. At the very least. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. It is weird how indifferent those Makos are to chasing me. Especially because Makos are one of the fastest sharks, so you'd think they'd have no trouble chasing me. Really? I can't fast travel because of you? Tiny morsel? So we'll head back here, we'll do this story mission, I guess. That should be a good cap off for the episode. Bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. And based on the mission title, I'd say there might be a chance we kill his useless son. Just to piss him off. Hmm, actually. I should equip my new evolution. I don't know why I didn't think of that. But I had already forgot that we got one, because it was so unceremonious when we got it. Alright, so now we can equip an organ. This evolution increases your health and resistance to being knocked off a boat by the melee attacks of crew members. Is that what that's supposed to do? You think it would still be smarter for them to just shoot you while you're on the boat? Sure, let's upgrade that too. We have so many resources just from leveling up. And again. Our health bar didn't actually get any bigger, so I guess it's just condensed down health. Let's go check this mission out, and then hopefully we will be near to becoming an adult, since we are almost level 10. I think we're about halfway through the experience bar. Alright, our first story mission in like three episodes. I really didn't know if there was going to be any more story Back missions aside from Cajun Queen. Fighting Pete. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to have my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark on him. That's all he was. If anybody was gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Got eaten by a shark, goddammit. A mega shark. 
He doesn't see the irony either that he wasn't close to his father because he was a shark Just hunter. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Okay, so that wasn't actually a story mission, it was just a story cutscene. I guess we couldn't actually do anything with Pete yet, but now it wants me to go to the Golden Shores Grotto, so maybe something will happen. Alright. Also, sorry, I forgot that I turned subtitles off for a screenshot, and forgot to turn them back on. So, hopefully you can parse out his Cajun without subtitles. All right, so let's go back to Golden Shores. We can just fast travel straight there. But now we know that you, I guess we progressed the story the along by- of catastrophic risk scenarios wasn't really considered when developers built a golf course in a flood zone. When I kill the bounty hunters, that's how we progress along until we get to Pete, who's not even on there. So it just wanted me to go here because it was like, hey, here's a new area you can go to as part of the story progress. Well, at least that unlocked the missions here. Alright, so what do we got? We got fin some, lose some, which is consume 10 humans. Better get Mako. And kill 10 mackerels. Not very exciting. But I guess every mission, or every zone, has to have its kill this many- Oh. All the icons disappeared. Alright. Every area has to have its own kill this many of the regular fish. Well, that one's further out, so we'll go check that one out. See if we can hit some locations on the way. You little shit. You can see we really didn't take a lot of damage though, so our health is definitely a big bonus. Some people say, isn't this just like an upgraded version of Hungry Shark, and is it a little crazy that I have no idea what that is? Like, I guess it's a mobile shark game thing that Ubisoft has been milking the mobile market for with multiple iterations, but I don't know what that is. I've never seen it. I don't know why everyone expects that people know these mobile apps. All right, these king mackerel are actually pretty big. Well, not this one. King mackerel are host to 23 parasitic species. This one is though. That poor catfish just got in the way. I'm just ignoring the Makos because it, it takes too long to kill them. And at this point, I don't think they can really kill me easily. As long as I keep eating these mackerel. Catfish. Are they just going to show up in like every zone? Or I guess just every inland zone? Probably not going to see a lot of catfish in the ocean. All life is linked by the intricate scheme of eat and be eaten. And then eat some more. Nothing gets a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73 year old hit a double bogey. 
The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. And any seniors that fall in the water in a drunken stupor. Also, once I get that photo mode bug, it means that I can't use photo mode at all for the entire episode. I know there's a cache in here. What kind of nut job redneck hides <laughs> a bunch of MREs in a golf course? Golf diving is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to ten cents per ball. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. I'm still hearing the ping. Sounds like there's another one. Also, there's a mission down there. I don't understand the backflip. I feel like I would be better just turning my back to where I'm trying to go and then backflipping onto land. Except it doesn't work when I try to do that. It's only when I try to go forward that he backflips. I'm so confused how to jump in this game, honestly. Oh, there's a landmark over here. Oh. Climb over these golf courts. Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules. But not for long, if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. That's just Canadian golfing. Another secret cave. Another secret glowing cave. This one's full of barracuda. We're getting pretty close to level 10. We might actually make it before the end of this episode if we keep eating these things. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another nourishment. It's kind of funny that the prey fish never try to get away. Like, they don't go any faster, they don't try to avoid you, they're just like, nope, this is my fate. This is why I exist. The gulf is filled with creatures both foreign and familiar. Level 10, and we're still a teen. No idea when we will reach adulthood. Where's the sewer gonna lead us? Well, it does say visit Grotto at the bottom right, so I guess maybe we're gonna evolve? Alright, need to be an elder to get in there. We're pretty deep under the land right now. For the moment, I just want to get back out. And there's another entrance. All right. Oh, we got another mission popping up over here. Uh, that's the Mako one. Human one. More mackerel. They really didn't want to, you know, do anything crazy with the objectives in this, did they? 
I mean, I guess that's a, a counterpoint to my complaint about Jaws Unleashed having ridiculous, like, blow up an oil rig missions. But I think this maybe goes a little too far in the other direction of just eat stuff. That's all you do. That's you're a shark. The members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginative. Alright, let's head back to the grotto and then I think we'll call that an episode. Apparently I'm in combat. Who's harassing me now? You made a terrible mistake there. Let's head back to the grotto and see what's got for me. The shark is now an adult, and she should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. All right, we're big and we're mean. You really fucked up one of her gill slits there with that scar. If I upgrade this, what's that going to do for me? Bigger radius, faster cooldown. Might as well. I mean, I use it all the time. It's not a very interesting ability, but, you know, handy. Also, we should probably upgrade our teeth again. Let's go back to bioelectric teeth and we'll upgrade them another set. Um, doesn't say difference. Okay, it does six damage, two stun counters. Yeah. Well, they look a little bigger now, but that might just be because we're an adult. Looking pretty mean, though. I like the blood splatters perpetually around the teeth. Alright, so, that seems like a good place to end it for this episode. Made some good progress, checked in on Pete, and you know, killed another bounty hunter. So until next time, I've been Shadefire, this is Maneater, and I hope you'll come back and explore the new areas with me again next time. Take care, everyone.